So there's lots of information on the internet about 3D printing and painting and stuff. This is just some of the ideas and some of the things that I do from project to project to get ready for paint. So let's say you got that new fresh print off the printer and it's looking mighty cool. So you're ready to slap some paint on it. But where do you start and what do you need to get started? Well, first things first, you're gonna need a good workspace. Somewhere that you can concentrate on, somewhere that's well lit, and somewhere that's well ventilated because you're gonna be doing some sanding. And if you're doing any airbrushing, you're definitely gonna need some ventilation. And don't forget if you're airbrushing, use proper respirator or a mask. That way you're not breathing in these fumes. So I like to have all my supplies easily accessible and nearby, ready to go at any given time that I'm ready to use it. But it's up to you how you want to organize your workspace. So one of the first things that I like to think about is the paint that I'm actually going to use on this. I like to make sure I have all the colors that I need. And if not, I'll make a trip to the hobby store or online, go to Amazon and get the paints that I need. There's nothing more frustrating than needing a color and you don't have it. So a lot of people have asked me what kind of paints do I use. Uh, the one that I use the most is Vallejo and I also use some Citadel and then I use Tamiya. Tamiya for me works really good on base coats. It goes on super smooth and I get really good coverage. So I highly recommend that you stay away from the craft paints like you get from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So they're not very good quality paints for these models and they're next to impossible to get through an airbrush. But if that's all you have, then so be it. If you can, I recommend spending the little extra money and buying some quality paints because this is what's going on your model and that's what's going in your collection. So you want it to be high quality looking when you get done. The other thing that you need is brushes, fine liners, detail brushes, wide brushes, fan brushes, whatever you need. There's lots of variety packs available pretty much anywhere and everywhere, especially if you're starting out. Also, never throw out an old brush. You can use those for different kind of paint applications, textures, dry brushing. There's an endless amount of uses that you can use for an old brush. Old toothbrushes too. Keep those as well. You can use those to scrub your prints whenever they first come off the printer in your alcohol solution. Also, you're gonna need a good primer before painting. I use a primer that's especially for plastic applications. Plus, I also use an automotive two-in-one primer with a high build agent in it. But make sure you don't apply this stuff real heavy because it could take away a lot of your detail from your print. So after you settle on your primer and paint, now it's time to get all your other stuff together. Of course, you're gonna get things like sandpaper. Make sure you get different grains and paper towels. Make sure you get some mixing cups for your paint, maybe even a dust mask so you're not sucking up the dust from the sanding that you're about to be doing. You're also going to need things like putty or filler of some kind for your seam lines and gaps, especially if you have multiple pieces you're putting together to make one bigger piece, and also some sort of glue. A lot of people like to use Gorilla Glue or Super Glue, and that's fine for smaller pieces, but I like to use a two-part epoxy resin to glue my larger pieces together. It's been my experience over time that super glue can become brittle and old and your parts start to fall off um, over time. But with the two-part epoxy I use, I don't get that. It's a strong hold, stays on there forever, and I know my piece is secure. A couple other things you might want to look into, maybe like a disposable apron or just some old clothes because you're going to get paint, you're going to get dust and everything else on it. Also maybe a color palette for your paints. There are also a couple more things I use in my prep that some people may not know about. The first item I found online a couple of months ago, and it's a tool that I absolutely love. It's from Mr. Hobby and it's called the G-Tool. It actually looks and sounds more like an electric toothbrush. But this thing works wonders with the divots in your models from your supports. I also use it for smoothing out some of the print lines and it also helps get in some of the areas that it's really hard to get a hold of with a normal sandpaper. I got this online from Amazon for about like 12 bucks. It comes with like three or four sheets of the small sanding discs and they're different grains as well. Again, it's more like a polisher, um, but this has been super helpful in smoothing out my prints. If you have a smooth print already, when you use this, it's gonna be even smoother. It also helps smooth out even further after you primer. 
You can also buy the replacement heads for $10 from Amazon and I will post a link down below so check it out. Another thing that I use is these visor optics that help me see a lot of the details within the model that I can't see normally with my own eyes. Um, but this will help you tremendously whenever you're painting up close. You can find these pretty much anywhere. They're definitely a good investment. Um, I've seen them anywhere from like $15 and up depending on the, the ones that you get. So you got all your supplies together. The last thing is something that you cannot buy, and that's patience. So prepping these models, painting models, and definitely test your patience. My suggestion is don't try to do everything in one day. Maybe one day do your primary and sanding. The next day, maybe fitting your model together. So if you see yourself getting frustrated or losing patience, walk away. Get a snack, get a drink, or just pick back up on another day where you left off. It's kind of healthy to walk away and then come back and see the progress that you've made. You may see some things the second time that you didn't see the first time. So you're ready to go. I usually start by dry fitting my model, making sure that all the pieces fit properly, especially if you have multiple pieces that require it to be a one big piece. I start here because I find it easier to find imperfections in the print once I have everything all together. Make sure you use the right grain sandpaper or your G-Tool because if you use too heavy of a grain on your sandpaper, again, you're gonna dig in and take out a lot of those details. Once I get done sanding, I like to give my models a skim coat of primer and then look for more imperfections or something else I may need to sand. Not a lot of primer, just a little bit, just to cover the model. A lot of it is gonna be sand, primer, and repeat process until you get to the point to where you're satisfied with your outcome. And it's always a good practice to fit the model together again even after you've done priming because you're putting layers of paint on there and it might not fit as well as it did before. So once you've done all that, you pretty much are ready for paint. Thank you for tuning in to my very first video. I hope to make a lot more videos in the near future. If you have any suggestions on things that you'd like to see, by all means put them in the comment section below. below. Don't forget, hit that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. So I want to thank my friends over at Wicked Art. Uh, go visit their Patreon page. I'll post a link to it at the bottom. Uh, they have three different Patreon accounts, one for Marvel, one for Star Wars, and one for DC. They're putting out some incredible models that you can print uh, for just a nominal fee every month. But thanks to those guys, a lot of the models that you saw here today are from that Patreon account.